Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. I hope everyone's ready for the 4th of July. I actually am open today. I chose to keep the daycare centers open today um, just because of based off of business needs for the parents and stuff. One of the centers is already down. They've called this morning. But I wanted to talk about connection. I had one time one of the kids <laughs> run out of the bathroom and they're like, hey, look, come quick. And they actually wanted me to measure their number two. And I was like, you want me to what? Kids are really funny. When they have a connection with you or when they feel safe, they like to share everything with you and they're pattern seeking and they'll seek you out if they want to be with you. So a good example was um, one of my classrooms, I have an early head start classroom in my facility a couple of weeks ago. We had a lot of changes and we had a little girl come back and some of her friends had aged out so they moved up. So one moved to my private side, sometimes they go to head start and she was pattern seeking and there was kids in her classroom that were different and her friend that she plays with all the time moved out. So she's looking for safety. So when she looks for safety, if I came in the classroom, she would come up to me because she knew I was safe because I switched out a couple of the teachers too and she didn't really know the teachers. So those teachers have to build the connection with the child because her environment just got flipped and changed out. So do you really have a connection with your kids? Do you know the kids that are seeking the attention, the ones that are looking for the love? They're looking for safety. It happens a lot. So when that child ran out of the bathroom and wanted to show me, they felt safe with me and I am not gonna measure their poop. Let's be real, I'm not gonna do it. I laughed, I was like, yeah, they came out of your little body. But sometimes kids do stuff because they're trying to seek our attention. And so some of the things that we can do to make a connection, and sometimes when I'm in the classroom, when I go into sub, I'll sit down with a kid and I'll ask them like if they're playing with cars, what's their favorite cars? Do they watch monster trucks? The same thing in the black center, I'll ask them what they're building. And sometimes we'll work on skills while we're with them together. But a lot of kids, they seek the connection, especially during COVID. Right now, I have a lot of kids that don't feel safe. When they go home, their emotions are all over the place because I have parents losing jobs still. I have parents have hours cut. They don't know if they're gonna keep me longer. They're trying to figure out their budget and everything. And these kids are around that. So when they come to us, they want the safety. They want the connection. They want the safety. They want the pattern seeking. That's why a schedule is so important. I love my kids, but it's so funny. Like yesterday, I have a dare coming up. I'll post on my personal page. Um, but it has to do with the hula hoop. So I brought the hula hoop in because I was seven in the classroom and all the kids came up to me because they knew whenever I have something with me I'm up to no good so the kids actually watched me and they were laughing I ain't gonna lie I was terrible so anyways they were cracking up and like yesterday I went to, into a classroom and I was reading a book and to get their attention I spoke in an accent and the next day my parent came in and asked me about my voice and I was like oh you're not talking about that but that's kids looking for the connection that child does some crazy things in the class classroom and um, I have a connection with her. So whenever I'm in the classroom, she behaves better because the connection is there and the kids know when I'm serious and when I'm not serious. So think about that. Do you know your kids that are doing the most active, the climbers and all that stuff? Do you really have the connection? Do you know what they like at home? Do you know their favorite color? Do you know what they're really into? Because it, once you build that connection, it is so much easier to watch the kids and stuff and building the connection, they listen better. I have less problems with a kids I build a connection with. A couple years ago, we had a little girl. I would wear different jewelry. She was really into jewelry. So every day she would seek me out to see what jewelry I was wearing. She went off to kindergarten, so I don't have her anymore. But I find a connection with each kid just to see how they're going to react. So make sure all your kids need the connection, not just one. And you're always going to have that one behavior. I tell you, one kid leaves, we always have one step up. They're like, it's my turn. So anyways, hi, Dixie. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Kim. Hi, Elena. Thanks for watching. Um, but build that connection with your child. Even your own kids at home, do you really have a connection? Are you spending that time without the electronics on? You need to have the connection with those kids. Sometimes I think people think if they're in the same room, they have the connection, but that's not always true. These kids seek out safety. So make sure you do know what a connection is. Anyways, I'm open today, so I have to get to work. But thank you all for watching, and I will talk to you later, and have a good 4th of July. Bye.